a hole in the wall between the left and right ventricle refers to a ventricular septal defect vsd the location can be either in the membranous or muscular portion of the septum most adult patients with this congenital defect such as the one in this vignette are asymptomatic at the time of diagnosis if the defect is small a long hollow systolic murmur can be auscultated loudest at Erb's point, which is the third intercostal space at the left sternal border. To answer the question, let's review the basics of heart murmurs, which are often categorized by timing as diastolic, systolic, or continuous. The mnemonic to remember systolic and diastolic murmurs is the following. All outflow murmurs from the ventricles are systolic, and all inflow murmurs into the ventricles are diastolic. In other words, you need to have an ID, standing for inflow diastolic, to enter the ventricle. Most murmurs, with the exception of hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, HOCAM, and mitral valve prolapse, MVP, will increase in intensity with leg raise, squatting, and sitting, due to the increased amount of blood flow to the heart from these activities. Alternatively, most murmurs, with the exception of HOCAM, and MVP would decrease in intensity with the Valsalva maneuver and standing. Let's go through the answer choices. Choice A, hollow systolic murmur that increases with squatting and decreases with standing correctly describes a VSD murmur. Other examples of hollow systolic murmurs include tricuspid regurgitation and mitral regurgitation. Choice B, mid systolic murmur that increases with squatting and decreases with standing is describing aortic or pulmonic stenosis. Choice C. Late systolic murmur that decreases with squatting and increases with standing is describing mitral valve prolapse. Remember that MVP and HOCAM are exceptions to the rules mentioned above. They decrease in intensity with leg raise, squatting, and sitting, and they become louder with the Valsalva and standing. Choice D. Continuous murmur is describing patent ductus arteriosus, PDA. The sound is often characterized as machine-like. This is easy to remember as PDAs are an example of a machine. Choice E. Mid-diastolic murmur that increases with squatting and decreases with standing is describing mitral or tricuspid stenosis.